Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm tired. I am so tired. So you guys see these videos one at a time, but I actually go to like two, three, four thrift stores in a day because it's an hour drive for me. So this is the third one of the day, but I'm going to try and push through it. So we are at Key Training Thrift, which is one of my favorites. This is home of the dollar clothes. I will try not to fill up my buggy, but I do every time I come here. So let's go see what we can find. All right, so it looks like dining tables, puzzles, and sofas are on sale today. And I happen to need a new sofa and look at this amazing leather couch. It is $225, but it's half off. So that's only $112. It's not plugged in, so I can't test it. Well, I'm going to try anyways, even though I see the cord on the couch, you know? All right. Let's sit on it and see what we think. I think it's pretty comfy. I think we will, you can see the other sofa's already been taken. I think we will, I think we'll get this and take it home. Let's go see what we need to do. All right, we have grabbed the sticker. That is what we were told to do, grab the price tag and that would mean it is ours. So I will put that on the buggy as we go and see what else we can find. Back here are the linens and blankets. You can see the Happy Mother's Day flag. I think that's actually a Minnie Mouse one, but I think they have like five or six dollars on this, which is a little bit more than I would like to spend. And I found some really good pillows here, but I don't see any up top there. 375, but it's a newer one. So I think we'll leave that. They have got lots of Christmas linens, as you see. Most of these look like they're newer though. I tend to mostly pick up vintage, but some more modern name brands that I know, I will pick those up. And tree skirts do very well, if you do not know. But those were newer, so I did decide to leave those there. Now, this is a really nice tapestry table runner. But I, I'm really trying not to fill the card up today. They had a lot, a lot of garden flags, but again, they have them at like five or six and they only sell for about 15. So really not worth it. But what is this? Santa's workshop tapestry with Christmas coming up. This one is very nice. So I do, I think we will get this one. I was trying to see if there's a tag, but that honestly doesn't matter too much with these as long as you can describe them well they will still sell so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get that one it looked like it was in excellent condition i didn't see a bunch of pulls or anything like that this looks like a vintage sleeping bag but i did not see a tag where i would know what brand it was let's see if we see anything else Let's see what this, the pillow, once I felt it, didn't feel as nice as I thought. This one's really pretty, but it's just a lower end throw blanket. And very, very rarely do I pick up comforters. They've got to be a very, very good name brand because they are very big to ship so shipping fees are high so with bigger stuff you want to make sure you have the value there that where the buyer is willing to pay for that shipping that's your big thing you want to make a profit on the item but you need to have something that is desirable enough that they're willing to pay 30 40 50 dollars for that shipping 
I think this is a valance. I was trying to figure out what it was. I think it was a valance. A jungle bag. And I found good bags here before. So I always take a sneak peek at their bags. But I don't really see anything good today. Suitcases are about the same as the comforters. They're big, and so you have to have quite a value there for people to be willing to pay for that. We're going to go in the Christmas room, which is there year-round, mind you. It is there all year-round. But we're going to check stuff out. Check out this amazing ceramic tree. If you do not know, these things are worth money. And again they they need to have the value to cover the shipping i decided i didn't want to turn that over to see how much it was I'm not going to be honest i just didn't feel like dealing with flipping it over and let's see what else we can see i think because this was the third thrift store i went to that day i was, I was kind of shopped out not gonna lie i was kind of over it <laughs> but which is, it, it is a good thing to be a little more picky. And that is what we're doing. Now, some of those little houses can be worth money, depending on the brand. But I'm not very knowledgeable in them. So I kind of just skip past them. So if you know some of those houses to look out for, or if there's, you know, just something that we can keep an eye out for, let me know. These are really cool. They're kind of mugs that double as candle holders which is pretty cool but they look like they were more modern and I do love picking up Christmas towels because Christmas towels will sell typically I do better with the little hand towels that you know are more for decor than a bath size towel I had to see what this is in here that one's another newer one Now, I also keep an eye out for throw pillows, stockings, things like that. And again, I'm looking for either very nice brands, something I can keyword well, or vintage. That is kind of my rule of thumb when it comes to textiles and linens. And if I miss something, please let me know. I'm not that far from this thrift store to where I could go back and see if it is there. I thought that was a bell, but and it is a bell, but it's not a real bell. So mostly just lots of trinkets here. Not seeing much of vintage, though. It looks like it is more modern stuff. A little candle was cute, but it was a little bit newer than what I was thinking. Lots and lots of tens. If you need tens to put your stuff in, they have them. This one's pretty, but it was five, and I think it would only go for about 20. All right, it looks like we found some hand towels. These are almost matchy matchy with two little Santa Clauses. I think that I could put those together as a set, and we'll see if we see anything else here's a cute little christmas tree and look it has a matchy matchy so we found two little matchy matchy sets and you do have to dig the towels don't tend to stay together in here they put them in these drawers and there is no rhyme or reason they're always thrown all over i found them in different matching ones in different drawers and they have some pot holders again a lot of this is looking newer Typically, I can find some vintage in here, but today there's not very much. Not much in the display case either. Normally, they have some higher end stuff in that display case. So we'll move on to the clothes. Check this out. This is a Boca Classics XXL FSU fleece jacket. If you do not know, the Florida State Seminoles just went undefeated this Football season. I am not 
a Seminole fan, but I will sell a Seminole jacket. And that is a great size with the XXL. So their boutique here is $5 and then everything else is a dollar. So that jacket is five, but I do think it'll go for about probably 25 to 35 or in that range. Now we're going to cruise the middle, the middle row of breakables here and see what we can find. And it's normally not a lot. I know I say that over and over to you guys, but I, I, I love collectibles. I love glass and vintage, and there's just not much in my stores, unfortunately. So I've been trying to show you just a little bit more. So again, if I'm missing something, then you can let me know. Now this little piggy is cute, but I don't get the piggy bank with the open mouth. That kind of confused me. So that's why I'm going to put that little piggy back because it didn't make sense. If it had been a closed bank, I probably would have gotten it. So let's see. Oh, now these are cute. Look at this little kitty cat. It's a dollar. It's a little magnet. That one's definitely vintage. And then you know people love their Yorkies. Look at these little tea tiny Yorkies. We're going to get those too, I think. These are all a dollar. Eh, I think I'll leave the wood one, but what about this other? So we'll get these little Yorkies. Oh, and here's a little pig. The pig is very cute too. So I think we shall take him with us. So... Not too bad. They have got so much furniture in here. You see all the chairs. That's why they're doing a sale, trying to get rid of all their sofas. But it looked like it was working. I, I'm getting one. Most collectible dolls, if you do not know, were mass produced. There are ones that make a good profit. And I am not very knowledgeable on that. But I do know some people that sell them. I just don't know enough to know which ones to look up and which ones not to. So I tend to pass over the dolls. And again, more modern stuff. I don't need an Avon decanter. A little egg trinket box. That's cute. I think maybe we'll get that little egg. No, I changed my mind. I told you, over it. <laughs> ha hashtag shop too much. This is a cute little dolphin uh, luster wear, but for five, that's probably only about a $15 item. And for 15, I really don't want to be more than about $3 into something. Now, this is cute. This is... um. Wasaki. I looked this up though and it didn't look like they sold very well so I did decide to leave that one. And then there's this cute little Santa music box. I have to try it and see if it works. And it does not work. So we're going to put it back. All right let's see what we have down here. Those are really cute with the cows, but again, more contemporary. So, we'll leave them. Let me know down in the comments what you have been finding at your thrift store. Hopefully, you've been a little luckier than I have been here today. And let me know what your finds have been recently. We can all do a little share and tell in the comments. I'm going to try this chair out. I think I'm going to, it looks super comfy. It looks really, really comfy. But it's cloth. And I did try, I did go and try and sit in it. And it is really comfy. But with a five-year-old cloth, furniture doesn't work very well. So we'll have to wait till Mr. Dalton is a little bit older.
They've got a lot of stuff here, just not a lot of stuff that I am really interested in. Now, I, again, I have found very, very good stuff here. It's just kind of hit or miss as to whether I find a lot or not. A little, I didn't, I don't, I don't know why I didn't get him. He was very cute, a little shelf sitter, a little frog. And they don't hardly have many toys. This is really cool. A lot of times the Audubon Society stuff does well, but I'm going to look that one up and see if it does well. And I don't think that it does. Now, these I had at $11. Otherwise, I might have got them. And I thought about the barometer. I have sold barometers, but I'm just going to leave it there. Let's go back to some clothes. All right. 2018 National Champions Clemson 4XL. Definitely going to pick that one up. The shirts I tend to look through here because they're only a dollar. So if I can turn a dollar into 15 or 20, I will pick them up. And typically it's either feast or famine here. Either somebody donated a lot of good ones or I don't really find very much. And even though my cart looks full, I really have not got much. And I am going to review everything I got with you at the end. So... Don't go anywhere. I think we're almost done shopping. We'll, we'll see what else. This is a rugged earth fishing shirt. Size large. Always make sure you can see the size tag. Um, I have made the mistake of not looking and just knowing it was a good brand and get it home. And there's no size. So it's difficult to list. You can put measurements, but a lot of times people want to see that size on there. Let's see. Raise the flag, national champions. I don't know why I didn't get that. I have no clue. Again, hashtag, hashtag over shopping this day. I should be over shopping more often so I can be more picky. All right, let's see if there's anything over here in the blues and the blacks. They do put everything by color here. It's not by size, which can make it a little more difficult because I tend to like to pick up the bigger sizes, but that is okay. See, there was a tag cut out. Why do people cut the tags out of things? All right, here are some scrub pants, and for a dollar, these are good wink or good cheer. Those are very, very good scrub pants. They have the little smiley face. Watch for those, and for only a dollar, definitely a good pickup on those. And here is another pair of the same brand, so we're going to get those as well. And I think we're just about done, so let's go ahead and take a look at the haul and I will show you everything that I took home. All right, so we didn't get a ton today. Uh, we got a few things, but the biggest was the couch. I got the new couch for inside. We got the tapestry Christmas throw and then we got two pair, woo, these are Wonder Winks. This is a great brand to watch out for with scrubs. It has a smiley face, that's how you can tell it now this is a good xxl fsu and fsu did just win the acc so that should go pretty fast and then i got a couple of sets of christmas towels here i do well with these we will get these up here really really soon clemson the big thing with this one is it's a 4xl and all their clothes are only a dollar, which is nice if they're not boutique. I think that FSU was boutique. Rugged Earth Outfitters fishing shirt. And then XXL Capri. And some Time and True.
sweatpants, these little things. Some of these will surprise you. I haven't looked these up yet, but some of these can be super, super val valuable if they are Hagen Renekers. Uh, some of them go upwards of $50, so we're going to have to look them up, and that little kitty is super cute. So if you see anything you're interested in, definitely let me know, and I appreciate you watching, and we will see you on the next one.